Hello. So th this afternoon I've been uh, reading a, a new book that I'm very excited about. I've been looking forward to it. I had it uh, pre-ordered and everything. But uh, I took a little break to go through my YouTube comments and um, uh, anyway, it made me think of a little story. So uh, I took a break to read a little bit of Voltaire uh, in this really great edition. Um, it's the main the main tale is Micromagus, but I read Story of a Good Brahmin, and it's I mean you you can see it's three four pages long, and it's a pamphlet. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of term for it, but um, the best way I could describe it is that it is a secular parable and it's a little tale that addresses um, like one certain notion which which is um, is it better to be educated or which is better to be educated and miserable or ignorant and happy and uh, the narrator, which we could just say is Voltaire, um, uh, meets an old, wise, uh, it says, uh, a very wise, erudite, intelligent man. What's more, what's more, he was rich, and that made him even wiser. He had everything and didn't need to lie to anybody, and he's this old Brahmin who um, spends his time philosophizing, and he's uh, like a, a wise sage and Voltaire meets him and the first thing he says is that I wish I wasn't even born he's so miserable and Voltaire asks well why why and he just starts listing um, all these examples that make him um, question his own existence and point out all all of his ignorance you know, smart enough and self-aware enough to un understand his own shortcomings. That's a terrific passage. Um, so this is the old Brahmin. He says, I'm made of matter, I think, and I've never been able to learn what produces thought. I don't know if my power of understanding is merely a function, like walking or digesting, and whether I think with my head in the same way as I grasp something with my hands. Not only am I ignorant of the workings of my brain, I'm uncertain of how I move my limbs. I don't know why I exist, yet every day people are asking me questions on these matters. And it, it just brings up all, all of these really interesting, um, very current questions. They're, they're questions that are as relevant today as they were at the time that Voltaire was writing. But after this, Voltaire then meets the, the neighbor who is uh, a willfully ignorant old woman. And he asks her, uh, what does he say? Um, he asks her if, if she ever felt miserable seeing that she knew nothing about the state of her own soul. And the, the, woman, the woman goes like, I don't even know what you're talking about. She doesn't know anything. And she goes, of course I'm happy. I'm, I'm the happiest person on the planet. Basically. Uh, he says, I was, I was struck by this old woman's happiness and went back to the philosopher. Uh, <clears throat> and he, he kind of asks the, the philosopher, like, Here's a woman who knows nothing, but she's happy, and you're, you're someone who spends your whole life learning, and you're miserable. So, you know, what, what's what's the purpose here? What what should be our goal? And uh, the Brahmin responds to him. He says, uh, "I've told myself time and again that if I were as stupid as my neighbor, neighbor, I'd be happy, and yet." I wouldn't enjoy that sort of happiness. Uh, I, 
put the question to some philosophers. Anyway, so... <clears throat> what are we talking about? Being happy? What's the importance of being intelligent or being stupid? Uh, from which I drew the conclusion that even if I think it's more important to be happy, we think it even more important not to be stupid. And I love, I love Voltaire. I, I, I'm sometimes amazed how his name is, it, it, at least in the States, uh, his name is nearly just synonymous with Candide. And that's not even an unfair statement because if you go to any bookstore, really the, the only thing that you're going to find is Candide. There, there's a few other slim things that you would have to go out and order. The odds of a, um, like a Barnes & Noble, I guess, or just like a standard bookstore um, stocking the philosophical dictionary or, you know, some of his other tales. It's uh, un unfortunate how little you can um, get your hands on Voltaire. Um, and the crazy thing is that he's one of the most prolific French writers. And, and there, there's one, one story that you can get, like a, a 90 page no novella. He's so, everything that I've read by him is just, makes me laugh, makes me think. Um, so, so ponderous and, and he'll, he'll pick, poke fun to himself. He's, he's still being satirical. He, he, he can just get your enjoyment on both ends of the spectrum, I, I think. Um, anyway, uh, it took me, f it's a five minute read. Um, this video is, is, is longer than it, it takes to read the story. Uh, and he, he ends it with, uh, this, is, this isn't a matter to be lightly dismissed. It still requires a great deal of discussion. And it's such a great thought. What, what's, what's better? To be educated and understand your own misery or to be ignorant and blindly happy. It's so great. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, leave a comment if you would like.